thanks so much for stopping back or by if this is the first time you're here. If it is the first time that you're visiting my channel, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and then the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post something new. Today's video is going to show you after I've baked the tea cup and the saucer that I painted in the last video. I have baked it and then I've actually already gone ahead and added the Mod Podge dishwasher safe gloss. And my next thing I'm going to show you is actually what I'm going to be doing with this project is turning it into a teacup bird feeder. Did any of you guess that? In the last video I asked you to guess to see what I was going to um, do with this teacup. Sorry, I have a dog getting into my trash while I'm trying to do a video. She's always there when I need her, or when I don't need her. <laughs> Anyways, so I love the idea of doing the teacup bird feeders, and if any of you have watched my videos or previous videos, I have been working on some items to place out on my porch for my front porch decor, from adding some black to my metal butterfly, to creating a mat that says hello with the butterfly and a couple, um, I can't think of the name, a hummingbirds. And now my next thing is to try to get a bird feeder out there. I already planted a little garden area in my front that is supposed to attract butterflies and hummingbirds. So. I have noticed some butterflies, but not any hummingbirds yet, so I still need to work on that. So I thought, you know, why not add some bird feeders to it, and I love this idea, so I wanted to give it a try. So once again, in this project, I'm using my E6000 glue. This glue is phenomenal. I have used it several times on different projects, and I showed you in a previous video earlier this week that... I have actually used it on some uh, glassware that I use for serving trays, plant holder to hold my dish soap, dish sponges and whatnot by my sink in my kitchen. I just love the idea of gluing pieces together. Now putting your own paint on them. I, I'm not sure how durable this is going to be with the paint part. As far as it's staying together, I think it's going to be just fine. But anyhow, I'm coating this nicely with this E6000. And I'm trying to put this as closely to the center as I can because I want to be able to string the string through the handle and have it stay centered. So that's what I'm aiming for here, and that's one reason I never painted anything over on this edge, because I knew I would be covering it up. So I've got it set. It's actually staying really nicely for me, so I don't really feel the need to tape over it, because I was thinking about placing a piece of uh, painter's tape over this to keep it sturdy, but I think, honestly, it's going to be just fine. Now... Because I am placing it outside, that's why I was concerned in adding Mod Podge to it because I want the design to last as long as it can being outside. It's going to be exposure under a tree, so yeah, the weather will get to it. What I'm also going to do prior to putting it outside is add some Mod Podge, the outdoor exterior kind, to the design. And then finally I'm going to do Mod Podge Ultra over the top of it just to add some more durability to it. If the paint comes off, in all honesty, I really, that's not such a big deal. If I were to create these and sell them, then that would be a bigger deal to me. So if I were to do that at some point, I probably would go with something that's already been fired on to the glassware 
and is more durable. But anyways, you get the gist. Quick little project to do. I think, you know, it's so pretty when it's going to be hanging. And I will show you that in an updated video. I will show you what it looks like once I get it dried and coated and strung. And put some bird seed in it because I did buy some bird seed today. All right, so I'm going to set this someplace where I can let it dry so that it'll be ready to go soon. I think my grandchildren will enjoy this as well. All right, so this is, again, it's just a quick video, give you an update on what I'm doing with this hand-painted teacup. If you like this video, make sure you take a moment to give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. If you like this video, have you ever tried this type of project before? How successful were you with it? Any thoughts, any ideas that you'd like to see me do? Um, I would love to hear from you. Any suggestions are welcome. All right, so until the next video, stop back, make sure you've subscribed to my channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell. There is also a share button underneath this video. If you'd like to share this with your friends and family, think they would be interested or enjoy it, please do so. I am trying to grow my channel and I appreciate your help. All right, and again, until the next time, I will talk to you then. Have a good one. Okay, and I almost forgot one thing I wanted to add to this video is taking a spoon and placing it on this cup or the plate actually for a little perch like so. So I am going to add more of this glue, my awesome awesome glue, to the back of the spoon like so. Sorry, like I always get off camera when I'm trying to show something here. And I'm really putting it on good. Really, 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 really putting it on good. Alright, and then I'm just going to place it in front of the cup, like so. Whoops, cup's still moving. Maybe it'll take a little bit for it to dry. But anyhow, just putting it right there in front. Now this one I might want to I might put a little bit of painter's tape on it just to hold it. Once I sit this silly thing down in a spot that's not going to keep moving, then I don't have to worry about it. But right now, just put a little tape on it. I don't want to do anything crazy that's gonna cause my my paint to come up, which it shouldn't, but you never know. But anyhow, I'll leave the tape on there. Make sure that the glue is touching what looks like it is from underneath, and then it should be good to go. Like I said, the cup keeps moving because it's I haven't given it enough time to dry. But anyhow, there you go. I will continue on uh, after this showing you the final project in use. But until then, thanks again for stopping by, and until the next video. <music>